Welcome to the Renaissance Club, the incredible venue hosting the Genesis Scottish Open, one of the most exciting events on the calendar. I'm going to meet CEO Jerry Sarvadi and we are going to give you a tour. Let's go. Hello Jerry, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm very excited to be here. Shall we go on a tour? Sure, let's go. So Jerry, here we are on the first tee where the likes of Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy will be starting their tournament in a mere few days. What kind of challenge do you think awaits them? So we're looking for this for this week to have a bit of wind, especially on Sunday. That's the forecast. You never know here in Scotland because it can change pretty dramatically. But with that in mind, we know that we're going to play the golf course at the yardage that it's intended to, intended to play at 72.37. It's a par 70, so it's a little longer than most, and especially if the wind gets in play. The few, first few days ought to be not quite as bad, but Sunday is expected to blow, so it's gonna be really challenging for the players. And lots of drama for us. And lots of drama. It'll be really great, so we're looking forward to it. So we've skipped ahead to the 13th hole, which obviously speaks for itself. But what is it that you think makes this course so unique? Tom Doak's been involved from the very beginning, and he's very much of a naturalist. And what that means is, is he doesn't move much dirt. He, so he comes out and he takes what nature's right there in front of you. And he did that to perfection here. We were very lucky at the point in time when he came here in 2006 and we started the golf course. His team was actually come over and able to build the golf course. Normally you hire a construction team, but it wasn't, it was all Tom's guys. And they come over and they are on the dozers and they built the bunkers and they built the greens. It was fabulous, it was really good. It makes us unique. And you've got quite an interesting story about this hole, haven't you? Oh, you want to hear that? Yes, please. <laughs> well, this hole, everywhere you look around this hole, it was 15 foot high buckthorn. And there was a little opening in the buckthorn. I used to come here for the three years that I was talking to the family about negotiating this whole thing. And I'd look at this cove and I looked down there and I kept saying to myself, somebody's got to build golf down here and why not me? And here it is. So we're obviously here in Scotland. But where are we exactly? What can we see from here? Well, we're standing on a large body of water, which is the first of fourth. And then the other side of that body of water is Fife. And just on the other side of Fife is St. Andrews and the Old Course and all those you know, famous places. Right here, we're, we're looking out at an island. And that island, ironically, was Treasure Island. There's a lot of history here. It goes back centuries. And we can see it here from the 13th green. That's it, right there in front of you. So here we are the grandstand of the 17th hole, the very hole where Jordan Smith got a hole in one last year and won a GV70, and his caddy took away the GV60, which is fantastic. This year, exactly the same prize up for grabs. Do you think someone's gonna do it? We'll see where they put the pins. You know, some of the pins are a little easier than others. I expect that if they put it to the back of the 17th green, there's a kind of a little area at the back where you can hit it up the hill and it comes back towards the hole. Then obviously last year where Jordan made the hole in one over here to, to the left-hand side of the green in the bowl there, some caddy's gonna be ha really happy for that. Oh, I'm sure. Are there gonna be any tips you can give us about how best to get a hole in one here? If you hit it just a wee bit right of the, of the thing, it all rolls right down towards the hole. So that's the thing to do. Make sure you try to get in. Obviously, it's going to depend a bit on the wind. And if that happens, you even need to be above the, the bowl and it'll roll down into the bowl. And if it does happen, what day are you betting on? Friday will be the day if okay. it happens. You heard it here we'll first, see. Guys. So here we are walking down the home stretch, almost like your own little amphitheater. Tell us how proud are you to be hosting the Genesis Scottish Open? We're so proud to be you know, hosting our fifth Scottish Open. We've got the whole world of golf here. How can it not be so great? Absolutely right. And tell us finally, what are you most looking forward to this week? A challenge to all the players. That's what we're really looking forward to. Fantastic. Well, in the true Lynx style, the skies have opened. So I think, should we go to the 19th? We should. Let's go. Look forward to it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.